I swear, people love to see political things in movies when a movie itself is not really political. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. There's this video on Infowars that claims that Logan is an anti-Trump movie. Surely, the guys at Infowars know what they're talking about. I mean, it's not as if they actually had absurd claims in the past about gay frogs and Sandy Hook. Oh, no, 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 no. Infowars, with their infinite wisdom, is going to tell us the truth about Logan. Hollywood. Brand new movie out called Logan, starring Hugh Jackman. It's the last movie about Wolverine. And in this movie, the bad guy's name is Donald. Except that Donald Pierce predates Donald Trump. Not to mention the fact that the entire production of Logan started back in 2013. Even before the production of Logan, there was a comic book series that was called Old oh Man Logan. How could this movie be anti-Trump if the characters and the filming predates the election? And it's about a bunch of little illegal kids and they're illegal because in the year 2026, it's illegal to be a mutant. Except for the fact that it's always been illegal to be a mutant in X-Men. According to Wikipedia, X-23 first appeared in X-Men Evolution. The comic book, by the way, was first made in 2004. Just how could it be anti-Trump if the entire plot of X-Men revolves about mutants being illegal? And these little illegal kids just escape this horrible military compound in Juarez, Mexico. And they finally get away from the bad guys who run that medical facility and that military facility. And they get to America. And Donald's there. And he's running around trying to chase them and kill them and snatch them up and, and do tests to them with this huge militarized police force. And they just want to get to Canada because that's where Trudeau is and it's the safest place to be. Except that this movie made no direct reference to Justin Trudeau. In other words, the reason why the kids wanted to go to Eden is because it was a safe haven for them, not because of Justin Trudeau being there. Look, I understand that movies nowadays have subliminal messages, however, Logan is not one of those types of movies. Yes, there are some scenes in the movie where Logan crosses the border from Mexico. However, this movie does not make any political statement about Donald Trump and because the characters himself and the plot and the production predates the election, it's pretty safe to say that it's not anti-Trump. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler